After we train people to do a full deep bodyweight squat pain-free with heels on the ground, we often train them to do a one-leg squat. But you can make a strong argument for building up to a full deep bodyweight lunge instead because you still technically have two feet on the ground, so you're a little bit more stable, but you're still building good strength because so much weight is on your front leg. Yeah, see, it's not a whole lot at all. It's a little easier to add weight to these if you're more advanced and easier progression if you're just starting out. Thank you, tree. You're such a good tree. It's also a decent stretch for your hip flexors on your rear leg. Height flexors sometimes cause lower back pain. We can also get a stretch through bridges, but I know some people can't do them yet, which is fine, or they skip them because they think they look boring, which is fair, I guess. Lunging is a fundamental human movement and translates into a lot of daily and athletic movements. One leg squats are still a great exercise, and since you don't have to marry one or the other, you can marry both and do both squats and lunges, if you want. And as usual, there are easier progressions. Have a beautiful day.